Hey, yo, bro. Bro, you in there? You fucking in there, bro? Yo, what up? Yo, what up, Rob? Merry Christmas, motherfucker. D. Lillard 2, black and white. Eh, 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 hey. Chinese New Year, Adidas Crazy Light Boost, 2016. Ha, ha, prime knit, prime knit. They're both prime knit, by the way. Prime knit, All right? Pandora, get, get out of the camera, all right? So, uh, Chinese New Year logo on here. No tongue, all one booty, compared to the other ones that are a tongue. So, great performers, they're great shoes. So what that means is you're going to have a great fucking year next year. All right? You hear me? You're going to take these fucking size 16 motherfucking feet and you're going to fucking kick somebody in the face and have a really good year in your professional basketball pursuit overseas in Europe with your uh, Trier Tigers that you're playing for again or wherever you end up. But I'm just telling you, bro. All right, these are great shoes. They're good performers for me. But I just got to say one thing here, huh? Like... I gotta be honest, all right? I got big feet, you know, they're size 13, size 14, and I'm only 5'10". But Jesus Christ, man, you wear a size 16, all right? A size 16, man! I'm about to rent a fucking bedroom in a part of these, and then still have a garage in the other one, all right? You got some big ass feet, my friend. Okay, these, these are big. There's a lot of shoe here. How do you even play basketball in a size 16? How do you do that? I can't even lift these things without my feet hitting each other. This goddamn size 16 shit. All right, well, oh, I'm getting dizzy here. So not fun for one day. Fucking shoes, man. Now you got some. But you gotta play like this, okay? You gotta mix and match them. So every time you go to a game, you got to wear one and one. No, that's not true. I'm not going to make you do that. Listen, bro. These are good shoes for a good dude. You go out there, kick some ass, and have a good year, okay? I know you're coming back from an injury. These shoes will do you right. Full-length cushion on both, of, bo on both of them. One is belts, and one is boost. Finally got that out correct there. The bounce... I think you're going to enjoy for dunking. Uh, anytime you jump and stuff like that, it'll give you a little more spring. Okay? The boost, I think you're really going to like for shock absorption and for protecting you from the impact. All right? You have boost shoes now. You had boost shoes in the past. These are fantastic. The forefoot, most of it is open. You know, just a little bit here is caged right on the lateral side and um, for me because you know I have really wide feet right even though I size 13 14 my foot is nearly five inches wide it's like four and three quarters or something like that so I'm always right up against here and that can be a little annoying you should be alright though you should be fine you know what I'm saying the one thing I want you to be cautious of is this little plastic nylon sort of piece here Okay, it's flexible. It was aggravating the back of my heel and ankle. And so what I did on my other models, actually, let's grab the camera and I'll show you. I did a little shoe surgery. And what I did was I cut that part off. Okay, this is the same shoe, same model, right? Not prime knit. It has a tongue like we were talking about. But I cut that back part off. The reason is, yeah, Pandora, you can get in the frame there. Here's one of my cats. The reason is this part used to go like this, right, where my finger is. And it would, it would literally press or rub against my ankle. And I used to feel pain in the back of my ankle and the back of my foot there. And so I was playing one day, and I looked down, and I realized the reason I was feeling that was because this heel part here this elastic is, is quite tight like it's not it's not loose like you know what I mean it's tight right so when my heel was in there and I again have a wider foot than you you know it would do a lot of this sort of thing and I noticed that I didn't like that up there 
Like I'm, I'm not a really big fan of mids or highs anymore because they just irritate my ankles and I need a little bit more mobility that a low gives, you know? So that right there, it's very easy to cut off. You can just cut it off with a pair of scissors. But I just wanted to give you a heads up on that, okay? So that if you notice that when you're wearing them the first time, cut it off right away. All you do is you just take the scissors and you just go along the side. And you don't lose anything to the shoe. Like you see, it doesn't affect anything at all. You know, and in fact the padding stops there anyway. So there's no reason for this. This was just a, an aesthetic design feature that they put on here. One thing that I think you're really going to like is not having a tongue here because those tongues aren't very well padded and so when you choke the laces right when you tie them up real tight it gets pretty pinchy in there and the other thing too is they have a plastic piece here I, I didn't show you that because I took those off but you don't have that you have these lace loops here that plastic piece on the non prime knit versions that can also really aggravate somebody's ankle if they're like me a little older or if they need a lot of ankle mobility because too much structure too much tightness and pinching around there can lead you know just to problems okay so you got the D Lillard 2 outstanding performer great fucking shoe favorite of mine personally when I got to play in it a few years ago and I've been playing in the crazy light boost both the 2015 16 and the 2018 and uh, they're outstanding. They're an outstanding shoe. The traction, I think you're going to really appreciate. Now, the Lillard, don't play outdoors in it, okay? I would just say that because this traction pattern is incredibly tight. Like, look, it says land there for Oakland, you know, because it says Oakland across his feet. It tells a story, right? It's a storytelling traction. But it's so tight. There's no space. And they're not very deep, so they will rub down outside very quickly, okay? If you want to go through it outside, I mean, do your thing, but I'm just telling you, it's probably going to rub down fairly quickly. You're going to lose traction on it. Dusty quartz traction, you know, you're going to have to wipe it. Clean quartz, you'll be great. This one you can take outside. It'll last a little longer. The only parts that will rub on it are up here because it's softer. This is very hard. This will stay for a long time. So it'll mostly be up here in your toe piece that'll fray if you take it outside. But this one you'll have no problem with indoors or outdoors. Dusty quartz, it's a beast. You know what I mean? It's, it's got no problems at all. At all. This traction is just outstanding. So, there's that. Rob, bro, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Holidays, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, everything that goes on in the holiday season, have a happy one. Uh, you know, much respect, bro. One of my best friends in life. I wish you all the best, and I really hope these shoes, which I didn't pay a lot for at all. I got them super fucking cheap, because you know me, I buy last year's shoes, so they're always fucking cheap. Um, I just hope they do you right, man, and I hope you recover from that injury, and, uh, you know, I'm waiting to see all your successes and cheer you on along the way, and uh, you need a friend, you need a brother, I'm always here, anything you need from me, my house, my life, my cats, it's all open for you. Pandora! All right. Well, you have a great evening. Take care, buddy.